Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Katrina. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. So as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing kind of like a retrial of the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. Now I'm just gonna talk a little bit really quick because I just wanted to address a couple things because in my previous video that I did a couple days ago, um, there was a lot of comments that it was gray, that it, the foundation was wrong, that my lighting was too bright, all of that. So I made a few adjustments and I just feel like for me and as a YouTuber and someone who does reviews and I have subscribers and followers who come to my channel because they are the same shade as me, I feel like I have to deliver. You know, I felt bad leaving that video up there. I feel like there was some confusion. I just feel like I just need to address it, fix it, correct it, whatever it is, just so I feel better. But so that's basically what this video is going to be. I'm not going to go to into the foundation because I did a lot of that in the other video and kind of my thoughts I'm not gonna do a wear test or anything. I'm kind of just going to swatch again and um, Just just retry the foundation and see if I can fix it and just give it another chance and Give you guys another chance to see how it works because I don't think it was it would be right for me to be like Oh, well, I figured out my foundation is this color and oh I use this you know I want to do it on camera so we can kind of figure this out together. That's what we are going to be doing today. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers who were like, it's not great, I love it. Even the ones who kind of gave like constructive criticism and didn't try to be like, oh girl, that's bad, that's ugly, you know, like thank you to you guys, I really appreciate it. So let's just go ahead and jump into this video. So I know a lot of you in the other video were in the comments below asking what shades I am in other foundations. So in Fenty, I am 450. I can go to a 440, but I use 450 more. In MAC Studio Fix, I am NW48. In um, Maybelline Fit Me, I am 370. So I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know. I did put it in the description of the other video, but I just wanted to actually say it so everybody knows and you, you don't have to go searching through my videos. So I received three foundation shades from them. I received Deep Dark 200, Deep Dark 195, Deep Dark 190. So it's kind of difficult when you receive products before they actually launch because there isn't much information on it and it's kind of like a trial and error type of thing. Or if you see other YouTubers that kind of have did a review you already but there isn't much information out so when I did that video Colourpop hadn't released kind of like the comparison shades so I went to go look now that the foundation is out and they have where you can compare the shades you already wear to find what shade you are in in the no filter foundation so in the previous video I used deep dark 200 not knowing that it was a shade too dark and too pinkish red for me, so I went to go look. I kind of went up based off Fenty Beauty, which I am for 50, and in the comparison to there, it was Deep Dark 95. So I'm gonna use that today, but a couple of you were asking me to do swatches on my chest, so I'm going to do that for you now, so you guys can kind of see. So I'm gonna start off with Deep Dark 190, and I know I did face swatches, but people were asking for chest swatches, so I'm gonna do that. And this is how I swatch anyway, but the, they were kind of identical, and you couldn't really see, which I'm thinking it really was my camera, you know, so I'm gonna, do this again for you guys so that is deep dark 190 so I don't know if you guys can see that is deep dark 190 I'm gonna go ahead and do deep dark 195 And then now I'm gonna go ahead and do deep dark 200 over on this side.
So here is a better view of the foundations. So it's really hard to tell the difference and this is why I didn't really include this portion in the video last time. I did it but I didn't include it because they just look so similar. All it really shows you is that they have such a like pink red undertone and I made the mistake of picking this one just to be safe because it was more red and a shade darker and it doesn't really seem like they oxidize as much because as soon as you start blending them out you can kind of see the undertones in them so I think just to be safe today I'm gonna go with deep dark 195 because obviously this one was way too red for me so since I already know that Deep Dark 200 is not my shade, I'm going to swatch Deep Dark 190 on this side and then I'm going to swatch Deep Dark 195 on this side. So this is Deep Dark 190. So this is Deep Dark 190. Deep Dark 190 is described to be like Fenty Beauty um, 440. So that looks way better. So I'm gonna do Deep Dark 195. So, okay. This is where it gets very difficult. So that's Deep Dark 195, that's Deep Dark 190. I'm feeling like this one is just a touch too light, but it doesn't look bad. But I feel like once I do the powder and all of that, because they don't have as much pigment, that I'm gonna go straight like Ghost Town. And I feel like this one I feel like this one I'll probably be better off with because especially because it said it is a Fenty for 50 and that's just the shade I use so I'm gonna go ahead and go with deep dark 195 I feel like that's the only thing about this foundation. I mean, other than that, the coverage is really nice and it looks really good, but it's just that they turn red and I feel like that just makes the process of figuring out which shade, even with the comparisons that they have, it kind of just makes it really difficult because, I don't know, like it looks still a tad too red for my liking at least. So when I did my video or whatever, people were complaining that the concealer might have been a little bit too light. And kind of looking at it, I guess it could have been a shade lighter, but that's usually around what I use. And I made the comparison to my other concealers that I use. So that really didn't bother me because that's my per personal preference. So I thought that it didn't look bad, but I'm gonna go a shade darker. I'm gonna be using Deep Dark 50. You know, and the thing about this that makes everything so confusing is that they're using names to describe things that aren't dark. Like, this isn't Deep Dark. This would never be considered Deep Dark ever. I feel like that's what's making this process so difficult. And I don't want to bash ColourPop because I really do like their products and stuff, but I just have to be honest about the naming of their products because there's no correlation of this being Deep Dark. If anything, this is not even dark, honestly. This would be like, I don't know, it's just not dark to me. Now I can say though that this concealer shade has more pigment into it than the other one did. The other one was kind of light to be considered dark, so this one has more of a pigment. So I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend that out. the first impressions of me doing everything the concealer foundation everything because I had never used it before so maybe it was my fault um not taking the time to do my research and watch other videos because I don't usually watch other people's reviews I kind of just go based off my thing because I don't want to have an opinion formed about a product already so I kind of just go based off my own opinions and how I feel so with that being said 
I probably should have played around with the products more before doing a first impression so I probably should have just did a review and not a first impressions so this looks a lot better than the other video so let's I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face and then come back and do the other product so I went ahead and contoured my face with my Fenty match stick and espresso so now we are going to move into the setting powders now I feel like this is where the video took a left turn when I started using the powders because they didn't have as much pigment as I thought they would so I'm still gonna do it because I felt like everything about that video took a left turn so I just need to fix it in my soul like I just have to fix it I can't go and just leave a bad video so I'm gonna be using the banana setting powder and we're gonna give this a go one more time So I feel like this was the powder that was casting the kind of like gray look. So I'm trying to be make sure I take my time blending this in and working it out because I mean I changed the foundation shade, I changed the concealer shade. So if I turn gray then it just has to be the actual powders itself. Now I don't think that the foundation and the concealers are bad. I actually really like them, especially before I place the um, powder. So now I'm going to use the medium deep setting powder. And I'm gonna use that same brush that I used in the other video. And I'm gonna go all over my face with this. What I'm feeling like right now, it's not the foundation shades or undertones. It's kind of just the powders. I think it's the setting powders. But I'm going to keep moving on. I'm going to move on to the No Filter Sheer Press Powder. So, I'm going to be using dark. <laughs> I'm going to be using the dark shade. If you want to see what all of these colors look like, then just refer to my previous video where I did swatches and showed more of the product like up close and stuff so uh, there's just not enough pigment in these powders and sheer press powders that will help me bring my color back um, so I'm gonna just show you guys what I use as a press powder after I set my after I set my face with my Sasha Cup Banana Powder, I go into my Black Radiance Powder. Now I'm going to show you guys the comparison so you guys don't just think that I was using kind of like the wrong products and I was just like, I don't know how to do makeup. <laughs> so, so that is, this is ColourPop and this is Black Radiance. Now I make the comparison just to show you when I was saying that I wish they had more pigment because I need something warm like this. This is looks warm but it's not. It still kind of comes off. It has too much. It's just too light. Like I, don't, I can't explain it but it's kind of like it's kind of just too light. So when I want to contour my face with powder um, I use my Morphe Brontour. So I'm going to make the comparison of you guys. So this is what I need at being dark, as dark as I am. I need something really, really warm and, you know, like red to bring that back in my face. So this is the comparison of the two. This is ColourPop's Deep Dark. And then this is Morphe's Brontour. And I use this shade right here. So you can see that there is a big difference in pigment. So I'm going to use this one for the purpose of the video, but I'm going to correct my face as we go along because these colors are kind of just not pigmented enough for me. So I went ahead and finished trying to add that to my face. So this is what my face would look like 
if I was just like, all right, I'm done using these products and I'm out of the door. Now, in my opinion, it does not look horrible, but I am, you know, not as warm as I should be. It doesn't look terrible. But I can see what you guys were talking about when that it was casting kind of like a gray look. You don't really see that when you're on camera and you're filming and I'm looking at my viewfinder and then I'm looking at my monitor like and I'm kind of just like staring at it and stuff and you don't really see that. And um, so that was my fault of not seeing that and not kind of like addressing it even after doing the test wear and stuff. So my apologies, but this is what it would look like. So I'm gonna go ahead though and um, add the products that I mentioned earlier, the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Kit in that um, Morphe Brontour. I'm gonna add that to my face and kind of bring some color back into my face. But this is it for this video. I really just wanted to come back and kind of address a couple things and do kind of like a retrial of the video to figure out if it was just me just being like, a bad youtuber and kind of like rushing this video or was it really just like the powders or the products because I feel like it is my job to kind of like give you guys good videos with you know good information especially if I'm gonna be doing reviews like like I said in the beginning like I couldn't just leave a bad review and I don't want to say bad as in like the products were bad or I just hated the product but I just mean in terms of not giving you a good video and it was just like bothering me and at first I was kind of just like I'm just gonna put up another video of another review of another product another makeup look and let that one sit there but there was just so many comments and so many people seeing this video and I just felt like I just had to do another video I just couldn't leave it up there so I hope I was able to inform you better and make you guys just consider the products again I actually really like the foundation and concealer it was just more so of the setting powder and the pressed powders just for me being dark skin um, they just weren't pigmented enough which is why I felt like I had to do the video again too because I have so many people my shade dark girls who are looking for products for themselves and ColourPop has great products and affordable prices so I just wanted to re-deliver and give another video an actually good one you know retrying the products so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope I could give you more information and not sway you away from the product itself which was the foundation maybe not so much the setting powders or the pressed powders but um I think that the quality of the foundation and the concealers are really good so I will see you guys next time I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe thank you to all my new subscribers and everyone who is just polite and gave you know your opinion without being rude and obnoxious about it so i hope to see you guys again bye guys